Welcome back to my channel where I've reached level 30 and I'm going to review this foot birthday insignia card. So you've got the two different versions. So on the left we have the 5 star 4 star card and then on the right we've got the 4 star 5 star with the weak foot. So for me normally I would pick weak foot over skill moves but for this review I'm actually going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go with the 5 star skill moves 4 star weak foot. So I'm going to go with option number one instead. As the card is walking out, I've got to say, this does look like a decent card based on its, like, face stats. So we need to take a closer look at the card and then try him out in a game. So obviously I've taken a five-star, four-star version. High, medium work rates. Left wing, left mid, centre forward as his positions. He's got the two playstyle pluses, Technical Plus and Rapid Plus. He then also has the Quick Step playstyle, so hopefully he's going to be quite rapid in-game. But overall, I'd say this is a nice collection of playstyles. Moving into these in-game stats though. So he's got incredibly high acceleration, but only the 88 sprint speed. So you could chuck a maybe like a Hunter on this card to get that up to 96. Got incredibly good agility and balance. But overall, those dribbling stats are impeccable anyway. Amazing passing stats on the card. Obviously, it is Insigne, so he doesn't have much strength or aggression. So if you're going up against defenders, you need to try and make sure that they don't really touch Insigne. Because if they touch Insigne, I just feel like that's it. You've lost the ball. So maybe if you're very good at skills, obviously that will help. But I think... The key to this is probably utilizing his dribbling and his pace and keeping defenders at a distance. But I think I am going to go with a Hunter Chem style on him. But let's check out the team that he's going to be playing in. Here he is in the squad and we've got the other season rewards, McKenny and Bellerin in the team as well. Because we're going to work towards unlocking the Kolo Mawani as well. But let's get into that game and see how he performs. Here we go, Insigne. Going to try his best at scoring a goal right here. Ah. Oh, oh, he's actually helped win the ball back. But like I feared, as soon as he gets too close to defender, risking losing it. However, nice little turn there and he gets his first goal for me. Okay, turns is Varan nicely. That's it. Keep the distance. Don't let the defenders get too close to him. From distance. Oh, that is a nice little powerful shot he has on him. If that had more height on it, might have uh, tested the goalkeeper a lot more. <laughs> I just noticed, typical EA fashion... They've put Insigne right inside the box for the corner. I mean, it would be funny if he was to win the header, but he pulled towards the back there. But I really do hate it on corners. Why put the shortest guy on the pitch inside the box? Okay. There we go. Nicely turned the defender in. Oh, ham. Control it a little bit better. But he's doing good with the dribbling, Insigne. Well, there's only one way to stop him from being inside the box. And that's to get him to take the corner instead. And to be fair, he has got good stats for taking corner. Which went straight to Janola. But Janola, wh why would you want to send that over the bar for me, eh? With finesse from distance. Oh my god, that finesse from distance. What a lovely goal. That is two from Insigne now. He is feeling like a dream. And normally, I don't enjoy Insigne's cards. I think this year is probably the first time that I've enjoyed using short players. Ah, oh, that pace. He's got past the defender. But gets a last second tackle in. Lovely shot again from distance. That had good power, good curve. 
Not too bad on the height as well, but didn't wasn't enough to beat the goalkeeper. But first half of the first game, he's feeling very nice. Nice pass to Ham. Go on, Ham, finish that. Okay, Ham decided to sky that. And Singy. Nice overlap. And that is his hat trick. Oh, yeah. This card. Nice turn. Lovely. Goal number four. His agility and balance. And i got to say, I'm not necessarily the best at doing skills. But he's definitely doing a good job. Ham's just got to go and it's a rage quit. I'm going to go into another game, but so far, four goals and a match rating of 10 in game number one. Let's see if we can add to that tally. Right, come on, Insinga, I need you to help support Janola. Good. Oh, he's almost managed to squeeze by those defenders. Oh, this is going to be a link-up play between all of my attackers, but again, Ham... I'm just not finding the mark in these games. I mean, he's, he's trying to win the ball back valiantly, but uh, as no surprise, his strength doesn't mean he's the best at doing it. However, that is a good run. Hold off the defender, Marquez. Being left in his dust. His, fi his finishing's just... Top notch. That's goal number five across two games. There we go. Leave the defenders in his wake. And by doing so, he's dragged his defenders out of position. Which opened up for Janola. Ah, uh, again. <laughs> There's just like little turns that he can do with the dribbling. Just going through his defenders. And that is yet another goal for Ntinghe. My opponent has put his controller down. So we're going to do something different. Rather than me waiting for the game to finish. I am going to do my final thoughts and feelings on the this card right now. So overall, as you can see, he's got two goals in this game. So overall, six goals in two games. Which is pretty impressive, especially for the fact that he's playing Cam. I would 100% recommend trying out this card. If you're very good at skill moves, or even if you're not very good at skill moves, I definitely think taking the 5-star skill moves version over the 4-star, 5-star version is the right choice to make. Because I think that skill moves... With the combination of his dribbling stats is going to be a very deadly combination. And he's just going to be great at scoring goals. But in typical normal Insigne fashion, yeah, you do have to avoid the opposition defenders. Because if, if he's anywhere near them and they properly get a hold of him, that's it. You're going to lose possession. But... If, if you can avoid it, like I did in these two games, he's going to be so good. He's going to be so good, and I'm not really that shocked. I, th I honestly think that he is the best free card EA have given us in FC24. And, I, I, and, and honestly, he's not too hard to get into teams, because the majority of us have icons in our teams now. So... The icons offer the league links and then you can get either maybe an Italian player or an Italian manager and then now get a nation link and then Bish Bash Bosh is basically on full chem. And then when you do unlock him, let me know what you think of the card yourself in the comments section. But that is it for this player review. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye guys.